E, durumu bu şekilde devran çocuklar gidebilirse çok güzel olur. Bu fotoğrafı gösterirseniz zaten oradakiler biliyor. Oradaki çocuklar biliyor. Bu Suriyeli çocuklar buna bakmaya çalışmışlar. Imagine, imagine what he went through. Imagine who was holding him down. Imagine who was cutting him up. Who was chopping the ears. No sleepers, no anesthetics, nothing. Hey guys, you want to be a part of this rescue by just sitting in front of your screen? Click on the membership. Everybody's been asking on how to donate. This is the best way, guys. By becoming a member, we'll be posting videos every week. We'll be doing questions and answers as well. And all the money will be going straight to the animal. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bu fotoğrafı gösterseniz zaten oradakiler biliyor, oradaki çocuklar biliyor. Bu Suriyeli çocuklar buna bakmaya çalışmışlar. Bir yerden adam motosikletle getirmiş bunu, bu halde bulmuş. O zaman da bir bakmaya çalışmış ama tedavi yok. This dog here, okay, we will. Uh... The boys rescued this, this dog from the refugee camp. Ne varmış? Ayağı kesik bir köpek varmış. Arka bacağı kesik. Biraz büyük bir köpek. Ayağı, ayağı kesik, kesik, beli yara. Görmedim daha bu tane. Allah Allah. Biz az önce bir tane burada dolaşıyordu ki tam. O gördüm o küçük onu girerken gördük o değil ya. Öbür tarafı Burada iki tane köpek var bak orada adam sizi çağırıyor zaten. Evet. Geride. Çağırıyor mu bizi? Evet. Herhalde. Tamam. Çıkıyoruz bunu bulma. And unfortunately, due to uh, lack of education, you know, the, the, the children there, the kids there, have skinned the dog, uh, his spinal area, and they've actually chopped one of his uh, legs off. Okay, so this guy here, okay, this poor little guy, um, we got a phone call from one of my mates and he goes and helps out the, the refugee kids and everything in those um, refugee camps. So he called me and he sent me a location and everything. I was in the city, um, I wasn't around. And this guy here had been tortured, okay? Skinned on the back here, okay? Um, so skinned by a knife like this and also had his ears chopped doesn't end there, he's had his leg chopped as well. So, uh, so this brutal, this brutal act, um, you know, we're thinking 
we're assuming with the locals there and what they said, it would have been uh, the children in those areas. Now, a lot of people, uh, uh, they weren't too happy with my post when I said the kids need education. A lot of those people were saying those kids need to be, you know, bashed and blah, blah, blah. Look, I understand that, but, you know, living in those uh, countries where everything's pretty much perfect and you complain about nothing, um, here, these kids are refugees, they're uneducated, um, you know, they don't really care, they, they've got nothing to lose, they really don't care about anything. So we can either smack all the kids and get, get nowhere in life or we can educate them. This is why we're building, uh, we've come to the conclusion uh, with a few uh, friends of mine, we're planning on building schools. Okay, in these areas. And in those schools, we are going to educate children and, and, and you know, normal education and also education with animals, with these stray dogs. Um, you know, tell them not to chop the ears, how, you know, how it will feel and how they feel and everything, you know. We want to teach them this because this is important. Education is the root of the problem. Like to fix the problem is education, I reckon. You can smack all the kids you want, you can bash them, you can throw them in jail. It's not going to really get anywhere, you know what I mean? They're still going to do it. You're just going to aggravate the problem and that's it. So education, I believe, is the key, okay? Yes, it's bad, it's terrible. Look at, look at this guy, look at his condition, you know? It's very, very sad, um, but unfortunately, it's gonna take this for us to do something about it in, in a way where we fix the problem from the roots, you know? And, um, you know, seeing this firsthand, watching it on our channels is different, and seeing it firsthand is very different, you know? And feeling the energy of this little guy and um, his fear, you know, when I touch him, he's still under that trauma under that impression where any moment anything can happen, you know? Like, imagine, imagine what he went through. Imagine who was holding him down. Imagine who was cutting him up. Who was chopping the ears. No sleepers, no anesthetics, nothing. Just bang, slice, you know? So this, this guy here is uh, alive uh, for us to tell the story to, to you guys. And, um, you know, I, I, I won't be getting rid of this guy. This guy will be staying here with T-Rex and uh, these, and uh, Fist, and we still haven't found a name. Tina's gonna name that one. <laughs> name this one. Yes. Okay, all right. So, this little guy here, for now, we're trying to protect him. Um, we're leaving him in here, okay? Uh, until he gets a little bit bigger and up, 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 up. Until he gets a little bit bigger and um, a little bit more confidence, then, you know, we'll let him out and about. They've got to all collaborate and get along with each other. <laughs> These guys are ruthless. T-Rex is ruthless, okay? So basically, where this is heading is um, disabled dogs, pretty much, you know? Dogs with disabilities, this place is going to be like a little sanctuary for them. That's why I'm going to fix this whole place up, you know? We've already got the heater. We're gonna have fans, we're gonna have everything here, okay? Um, <laughs> this one here as well, soon. Chop its arm off because um, that's what the vets have said. Um, you know, we would like to avoid things like that, but what do you do? T-Rex is just jumping around on two legs, as you can see, you know? 